The Jaguar XK engine, arguably one of the most beautiful engines ever built. Amazingly, this engine, designed in 1947 and produced beginning from 1949, was the primary engine in Jaguar cars all the way up until 1992, with only evolutionary changes from the original. Any gearhead worth his salt will instantly identify the XK's iconic design. In typical British fashion, these engines were built to look good under the hood. They featured cast aluminum, hand-polished cam covers, timing chain covers, intake manifolds, and carburetors. Even the dual exhaust manifolds came from the factory with a glossy ceramic coating. But the XK engine is not just another pretty face. Even by today's standards, the XK engine is a marvel of technological design. An aluminum head, dual overhead camshafts, high compression domed heads, dual carburetors, and dual exhaust manifolds were standard equipment. These were features that were rarely found on American manufactured cars of the same era. Today we're going to discuss the process of checking and adjusting valve clearances on the XK engine. If you've never done this before, the task can seem rather daunting. However, Jaguar clearly expected the average owner to be able to complete this job on his own, since the special valve timing gauge required to set the camshafts was a standard item included in the in-car toolkit of many of the earlier cars. Let's review the basic process of checking and adjusting the camshaft clearances. First, remove the air filter housing and then of course the camshaft covers. If desired, you can remove the spark plugs to facilitate turning over the engine. With a feeler gauge, check the clearance between each cam lobe and tap it and record that value. Exhaust clearances should be six thousandths and intake clearances should be four thousandths. These values apply to all of the earlier XK engines. Later engines did have larger clearances. Cam clearances are adjusted by means of a circular shim held underneath each tappet. A variety of shim thicknesses are available to obtain the correct clearance. If any clearances are outside factory specifications, then the camshaft will need to be removed to gain access to the adjustment shims. First, remove the tack drive on the rear of the right camshaft. Remove the safety wire and two bolts that hold each cam sprocket on. Remove the front engine breather cover, which allows access to release the timing chain tension. Slide the cam sprockets off the camshaft. Then remove the cam bearing nuts and remove the camshaft. With a magnet, remove the tappet from each cylinder needing adjustment. Measure the thickness of the shim underneath the tappet. Replace with another shim which will provide the correct clearance. Reinstall the camshafts and recheck the clearances. Before we begin, there are several tools and equipment necessary to complete this job. You'll need a torque wrench, safety wire pliers and safety wire, a thickness feeler gauge, a micrometer to measure the shims, a Jaguar timing chain tensioner adjustment tool, a cam timing template tool, an assortment of shims in different sizes. Now, let's look in detail at each individual step. First, we're going to remove the air cleaner and the cam covers. And then we're going to check the clearances. Clearances must be checked between the heel of the cam lobe and the tappet underneath it. Make sure that the lobe portion of the cam is positioned at least 45 degrees up to ensure that you're measuring the largest clearance. Rotate the engine by hand or use the starter with the coil wire disconnected and then measure each valve clearance. Record each measurement on a chart for reference. Most technicians agree it's okay if clearances are a bit larger than Jaguar specified, perhaps up to three thousandths greater. However, clearances less than specified should definitely be corrected. 
When all clearances have been recorded, it is time to begin removing the camshaft. First, remove the tachometer generator or mechanical drive from the rear of the right camshaft. There are two hex screws holding it on. Next, turn the engine until both cams are at top dead center on the firing stroke. If set properly, the two notches on the cam flange will point straight up and the timing mark on the crank pulley will be aligned with the pointer underneath the engine. This is where Jaguar's cam timing template comes into play. Just make sure that template fits into the cam notch on each cam to ensure top dead center. The next step is to remove the two bolts holding each cam sprocket. But before doing this, stuff a rag down into the timing cavity to guard against dropping something down into the engine. First, after removing the safety wire, rotate the engine counterclockwise about 30 degrees until the hidden sprocket bolt is accessible. Remove the accessible bolt on each cam, then turn the engine clockwise until both cams are again at top dead center and remove the remaining bolt on each cam sprocket. Next, remove the front breather cover and screen. This allows access to the upper timing chain tensioner. With an appropriate socket, loosen the large nut in the center. Just a half turn is sufficient. There is a special cam tensioner tool which engages the two drive holes while simultaneously depressing the lock plunger. If you don't have such a tool, it is usually not too difficult to release this plunger with makeshift tools. With tension slightly removed on the chain, both cam sprockets can be removed from the camshaft. Just tap lightly on the back side of the sprocket and it should slip right off. The sprocket will be held in place out of the way by the built-in extended shaft. Now it is a simple matter to remove all the nuts holding the cam bearing caps, loosening each nut a little bit at a time to equalize the tension on the camshaft from the valve springs. Be careful to keep track of the original position of those bearing caps for later reinstallation. Now with the cam out of the way, with a magnet, pull each tappet out of its recess. The shim will be underneath, sometimes stuck to the inside of the tappet, other times it will be lying on the valve stem. Measure the shim thickness with a micrometer. Refer to your measurements chart that you made earlier, then choose a new shim which will be thinner or thicker as necessary to correspond to the desired clearance adjustment. Install the new shim and the tappet and move on to the next one. When all shims have been corrected, reinstall the camshaft. Make sure each cam is installed with a timing mark pointing straight up and tighten it down into place. Slide the chain sprocket back on the cam and install and tighten one bolt on each cam. Then turn the engine counterclockwise back about 30 degrees so that the remaining bolt on each cam can be installed. Don't forget to install the safety wire afterwards on each cam bolt. Finally, reapply tension to the timing chain using the tensioner tool and button the engine up. That's all there is to it.